It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it is time for your spooky stuff. <gasps> I'm alive. The night goblin. It was a dream. It was a nightmare. What day is it? What day is it? Uh, fling open my windows and look down on the cobbled street in London town. Pull up my Argos blind. You there. You boy. Yes, you. You! Hello! 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 Yeah! Yeah! I'm talking to you, mate! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! No, the one next to you! Yes! You boy! Street urchin! What day is it today? What? What day? What day is it today? Yeah! Yeah! I know it's Friday! Yeah! What day? What? What also? What's happening today? Look at my hat! Look at my hat. What day is it today? It's Christmas Day! It's... He got by George, he got it. Yes, it's Christmas Day. I'm going to throw you down sixpence for a turkey. Wait there, street urchin. Ah, take this, take the sixpence, take the sixpence and buy me the biggest turkey you can and bring it back to my front door and I'll... And I will eat it up. <laughs> it's Christmas Day. The night goblin. The night goblin was just a nightmare. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mrs. Haggywinkle. Mrs. Haggywinkle, my cleaner. Take this halfpenny hatch coin and go and buy yourself another turkey. But not as big as my one though. Get one. I just gave sixpence to... Uh, I'm wondering if I'm getting that back, Mrs. Haggywinkle. Can you, Mrs. Haggywinkle, can you run down the road? I just gave sixpence to a kid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. But can you, can you get it back? It's because a sixpence, of course, is not currency. It's actually quite a rare coin. And I'm a coin collector, as you know, Mrs. Haggywinkle. Could you get the sixpence back, please? It's actually worth 500 pounds, that sixpence. It's a really rare coin. I don't know why I chucked it out the window. I, oh, I don't know, because I had a nightmare. I had a pretty bad, yeah, I had, yeah, I had one of my nightmares. Yeah. Can you get the sixpence back? I wonder what I'm paying. I pay you to collect the coins that I throw out the window every morning for reasons that are still not clear to me. But can you please, uh, <laughs> because it's your job, Mrs. Haggywinkle. Yeah. I'm so sorry you have to work on, I pay you well enough. Yeah, and I'll, pay, and I'll pay you in, I'll pay you in, Phoenix. What? Oh, well, that was a, that was a lot of fun. And um, what you would have seen there is a clip from A Christmas Carol um, by Alistair Green, 2020. A modern adaptation of a classic Dickens tale, given a humorous touch that um, has come to characterise his work this year. It's a fable, yes. But it's also a cautionary tale, and it's a tale of greed, lust, envy, and some of the other ones like that. And I, um, oh dear, Christmas Day, oh dear, hello you, oh, so there's somebody at the door, who's this at the door? Huh? Huh. It's carol singers, I don't believe it. Why are they knocking after I said who's at the door? Oh, because I heard it and you didn't hear it first time and they're just doing it again. Yes? Door opening. God rest ye merry gentlemen. Hey, uh, you don't seem to know that many of the... you knocking on different doors. You're going door to door and yet... You don't seem that clear on the actual words you're singing, it's, which just seems kind of, I, I don't know. Pra practice does, doth make perfect, quoth the... And when he came to Stephen's feast, he took a bit of ham, 
Glad tidings in comfort and joy. Yo, comfort and joy. Yo, yo, glad tidings. Oh, I don't like this. If you're going to do that, I don't like that kind of. Call me old fashioned, but Thars Uncle saying Christmas, Christmas, do them like I like them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, we're just kind of, we're kind of a kind of kooky choir, we're kind of a cool choir. Yo, good King Wenceslas looked out of town, looked out of his window, he saw a thing on the ground. You, you sort of, can I give you a hint? Learn the words. Walk before you can run, sing before you can rap. Hmm, a Christmas message. Are you Alice the Green? Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is a guilty's charge, Your Honour. Throw me in the slammer. And sh and, but let me off the crime. What have I done? Unless, unless pleasing the British people is a crime, which wouldn't surprise me these days. Oh, I, lo I love your work. Sorry to, in sorry to interrupt you. Are you busy? It's like, there's, no one, there's no one here. Is that what you're having? That nut right? Can I just ask you something, Alistair Green? Did you forget to get potatoes and so now you've got to eat half a celeriac that come with your last uh, veg box and one carrot? I'm not sure, where you've, not sure where you got that from, but that's absolutely not the case. Okay, do you mind? Would you mind if I looked in your fridge? Then. then. Happy, happy to show you in my fridge. Ah, oh, it's a lot. I put the lock, oh, put the lock on the fridge. Just realised I put the lock on the fridge last night. Where's Mrs. Haggywink? Oh, my cleaner housewoman stroke coin collector that I give to kids is left and she's got the only bloody key to the fridge. Okay, um, we'll be back. Sorry, would you, what you carol sing as you check people's fridges? You don't worry about me. You worry about you and your half a celeriac. Take care, yeah? Okay, bye-bye. Very Ooh, how, how strange. How odd. Ooh, that was a funny one on Christmas morning. Let's pretend it's like that one. You know those ones uh, that are like um, uh, sitcom, you know sitcom, like Mrs. Brown's Boys type sitcom game, where they break the full floor and there's a knock on the door. Ooh, who's that at the door? Ooh, I don't know who's coming this time of day. Oh, it's Mr. Taylor, the tailor. Oh, it's Mr. Taylor, the tailor. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, the tailor. Who writes this? Who writes this stuff? <laughs> I'd say that. If I was the head writer of a sitcom in the room, I'd write a joke and if everyone, if everyone, did, I'd go like this, who writes this stuff, you know? And if they sort of went, oh, like that, I went, are you laughing, Rick? What are you laughing at there? Because you think it's rubbish. Because say, there's plenty of other, if you, the hard, writing works hard to come by and if you're going to treat me like that, then... Do you know what I mean? Maybe you could, maybe you want to work on something else. Yeah? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you're fired. Go and then take me to a tribunal, you're out. And, that, and the rest of you, if you ever do that again, I'm going to pick someone at random and fire them. But it's about fun, guys. Work in a writer's room is fun, all right? It's about big energy, it's about having a laugh, it's about having a giggle. And, it's, and if there's one thing I am, it's a giggle. And do you know what I like? A bit of honey and figgle. What? Oh, okay, I'm actually I'm actually exhausting myself here. Um, okay, let's um, let's take a tier someone's <laughs> question box tier four taking its toll. Um, what is Mrs. Haggywinkle having for breakfast? You'll see. Mm, you'll see. Um, now I'm going to go on a Christmas walk. Now this is very short Christmas, um, and this is just a this. You'll see. Oh, look at Joe Anderson. What's for Christmas dinner? Hmm. Maybe you'll wait and see. Maybe you'll wait. Maybe the giggle master will tell you at 2 p.m. Hmm. Ever think about that much? Ever think about it? Ever think about what could happen at 2 p.m.? Hmm. Um, bit of honey and figgle. <laughs> bit of honey and figgle. All right, guys. This is just really. Hey, guys, I just wanted to jump on really quickly and just say. I don't wanna lie. I started too high. Doesn't matter. I can go again. I don't want to look, because I still wanted to finish high. I can start, as like, that, I just realised the problem, I keep wanting to finish high. I just start really low, it's fine, but I just have to go up, you know, gradually, but I keep, I, for some reason I want to finish there. Ah. I don't want to look for Christmas! It's Christmas! I might join one of those TikTok families who go, who come on like that and go, it's Christmas! 
Christmas. It lasts five seconds and then it gets back five million views. And they just want to go, it's Christmas. Huh, look at my son. Huh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's Christmas. Like millions of people in the comments. I love you guys. Where can I buy your merch? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to be back at 2 p.m. And um, I might have a few guests with me. Some people you might enjoy. I can't, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Um, and I feel like it's an expectation I can't possibly fulfill. Um, do bear in mind, of course, that the last time uh, I ate live on Instagram, I had a curry night and um, I was uh, quite dehydrated and my skin went all blotchy. And as I say, I've not been 100%. Um, no, not a single person has asked about my health, even though, yes, I've been quite ill this week. And I thought I had coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't worry, it's Christmas Day and I'm on my own in tier four. Why do you care? You've got, you've got families and things to do and I'm all alone in the universe, but that's, that's life, I guess. Sort of between a statement and a song, wasn't it? I'd like to mix it up. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm jabbering on here like a, like a figgle in a honey pie. All right, so I'll see you at 2 p.m. Merry Christmas and um, <laughs> have a look under your tree. That big present. Don't open, just uh, see you. Okay, see you too.